<laughs> what is your name? <laughs> My name's Jackie. What is your name? Morel. How did you prepare for this interview? Did a bit of research. Asked my friend Jackie here some questions about monthly minimums. Yeah, not too much. What are our monthly minimums? <laughs> I was hoping you'd get it. <laughs> monthly minimums, they suck. They are fees charged by certain payment processors or merchant service providers if you don't process or if you don't process a certain minimum in a given month. Like let's say the monthly minimum is $27.95 for processing fees, but you only have like $5 in processing fees. It's the difference between $5 and $27.95 that you get dinged. Which is $22.95. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pretty complicated. Yeah. It's yeah. As easy as I thought it was. Yeah. Kind of like if you have a gym membership and you pay your monthly fee for that, but let's say you don't go to the gym at least five times a week, let's say only three days, they would charge you for the two days that you didn't go as an extra like, fee or penalty. Is it fair to charge merchants when they don't make money? No. I think it's like pretty backwards if, you know, a business isn't making any revenue and you're dinging them for that. Instead of doing a monthly minimum as like a win-win, we do volume-based discount pricing. So more you process, less you pay, as opposed to the less you process, the more you pay with monthly minimum. Especially like merchants who are seasonal businesses, uh, it would definitely affect them. Um, I would definitely advise that they look out for that uh, if, if they're a seasonal business. It's kind of a win-win with -win. them. No matter what processor you go with, ultimately like do your research. Figure out if there are hidden fees, figure out if there are um, long-term contracts. Um, just make sure that you're, you're doing your homework.